Hi, I'm back. I don't even know how to start this. I haven't vlogged in so long. Well, that's kind of a lie. I tried to come back in like, must have been end of July or like start of August last year. I filmed a whole day in a life vlog, life update kind of thing for you guys. And guess what? It just never got edited. And I feel like too much time has passed for me to now edit that and post it now. So here I am trying again. Let's see if this actually gets edited and posted. I have missed making YouTube videos, but at the same time, I have enjoyed my break. I think it's been, it's been just over a year since I've posted like 14 months or something like that, which is insane. That year has gone very fast. Not much has changed, but also a lot has changed. So I thought I'd bring you guys along on a day in my life today and update you throughout. I do have a later start today as I have a couple of clients away. Um, so yes, I'm still working as a personal trainer. Um, but yeah, today I just have a later start. So this morning I'm actually about to go for a run. So I'm just getting ready to go now. I literally just got changed, but I still need to put my hair up, put my shoes on, that kind of thing. I don't know how far I'm gonna go. I went for a run on Sunday with Dave and his sister. We did four and a half K. I don't think I'll go that far today because um, we were actually away on the weekend up in Harvey Bay and it's very flat there. So it was a lot nicer to do four and a half K there as it was flat today. Maybe two or three K. <laughs> we'll see how I'm feeling. I'm not too sure, but yeah, I'll be taking Hershey with me. I think he's outside. I should probably reintroduce myself because it has been so long since I've posted and I've also had quite a few new people join me over the last year even though I haven't been posting but because of all the videos obviously already on my channel um, people have still been watching them my how to play squash video is now at over a million views which is insane and I'm close to 5,000 subscribers which I don't understand <laughs> but obviously I'm very grateful but yeah so if you are new here or you don't really remember me and you're like who's this chick popping up in my subscription feed i'm zoe i am 25 now insane 10 25 last month just with just in february still i'm engaged to my partner dave he is a squash player um we have a dog called hershey we live in brisbane australia and i feel like that's about it for now today i will update you all on everything um about squash about why i'm running life in general, my job, everything like that. Um, but yeah, like I said, right now I'm just getting ready. My hair is disgusting. I really need to wash it. Um, but I think that is a future Zoe problem. I will probably do that later today, if not tomorrow. Then you hate when you have like a bit of fingernail. <laughs> that was good, wasn't it? A bit of fingernail that um, catches like on your hair. It's stuck. Or is that just me? Maybe it's just me. I never wear my hair in a low ponytail like this, but I will be putting a hat on. It's actually so hot today. Let's put a hat on and save this. There's Hoshi. Say hi. I'm very out of practice with filming. That is better. Hershey's just seen me get my shoes and he gets very excited because he knows that shoes means walk or run. Yes. Yes, help him. Help him. Yes. I desperately need new running shoes. Okay, let's go for a run, Hoshi. Like I said, I don't know how far I'm going. I'll probably take you guys along on my phone. 1K, 2K, and done 2.75K. Back home and very sweaty. Like I said, I just did like 2.7K. This is an easier run. Um, I felt pretty good other than my left calf was really tight. Like I could just feel it every like step I took and it's still a bit tight now so I'm not sure what that's from because it felt fine before I went for a run but yeah 
definitely felt a bit harder than Sunday I guess because Sunday I was running with people and it was flat I think Sunday's elevation was like seven meters or something like that whereas like today's run which was shorter was 36 meters elevation because um, our area is quite hilly but the main reason I am starting to run more is because Dave and I are thinking about doing a half marathon we haven't actually signed up yet we will sign up we just haven't so I guess we're not thinking about doing a half marathon we will do a half marathon but I have a long way to go in my training I wouldn't call myself a long distance runner at all I've never liked long distance running um, so it should be an interesting challenge and I'll obviously bring you guys along on the journey and I'll talk all about it more in another video other than that I have just under an hour until I have to leave to go to work so yeah I'll have a shower well I'll cool down first then I'll have a shower just do stuff around the house and then I'll head off to work all showered and ready for work now I'm just taking a muesli bar and some almonds with me I would normally take a piece of fruit like a banana or something but we don't have any at the moment because today is grocery shopping day. I'm not sure what time Dave will be home. I think he'll be home before me. I'll be home about 2.30 and then we'll probably be going grocery shopping um, around then. And he doesn't have training this afternoon because he's playing tonight. Squash, that is. He's playing squash. <laughs> he has fixtures. I'm back home now because she's eating food. Henley seems to eat on my home. It's about 2.30 now. I'm just going to have a late lunch. I haven't had lunch yet. I'm just gonna have like this like Mexican um, bake thing that I made the other day. Then after I have lunch I need to wash up these dishes. Now Hershey's drinking. Good timing Hersh. And after I do both those things I'm going to sit down and chat to you guys and give you a bit of an update. just sit down and give you a proper life update because like I said it has been so long since I've posted on here I did try in July which was around the time of like our one year engagement anniversary which was a video I posted as in like when we got engaged um, but yeah our one year engagement anniversary we had our engagement photo shoot um, I'll put some photos up here but I'll start with probably the most obvious one and that's that I'm not playing squash at the moment and I haven't for like the last year. The first two months-ish of last year I was still playing but I was just taking a break off posting just because of everything that was going on in the world. There was just so much happening and it didn't feel right for me to be um, posting at that time so I wasn't and then in February I injured my wrist was my own fault it was stupid but anyway I ended up damaging cartilage in my wrist and with that I had to be out for 12 weeks during that 12 week period I didn't really miss playing squash that much and I did try to go back and have a hit and uh, one time I did go back it was still hurting a little bit especially um, on my backhand it was hurting and yeah just because it's cartilage takes so long to heal and I just never really went back i didn't miss the late fixture nights and yeah i just didn't really miss it enough to go back and yeah so that's kind of where i'm at and we would have just been like one year since i've injured my wrist i'm not really sure how to feel about it or how to even talk about it because obviously especially on youtube squash was a big part of my identity and was a big part of my channel so I didn't know how to come back on here without posting squash content and I'm not saying I'm never playing squash again or you'll never get squash videos from me again because 
I do miss playing, but there's just a lot of it that I don't miss. Like I said, the late fixture nights. I do want to hit again, but I don't know what that's going to look like. I don't know if I will play fixtures again. I might just hit casually. But to kind of replace the squash, I have been going to the gym for the last year. I've been really enjoying that. I've done some of my like own programs as a personal trainer myself and I've done a few like other programs when I just really can't be bothered. If you're a personal trainer, you'll know what I mean by that. What else? Yeah, like I said, July last year was our one year engagement anniversary. This week is actually six months to go into our wedding. And I do have a few like videos, like wedding related videos that I want to post that I have filmed like my like bridesmaids like proposal and like reactions. Um, when I went like wedding dress shopping. Other than that, not too much has changed. I, uh, yeah, I'm still working as a personal trainer. I'm doing that in person and online. Dave is still definitely playing squash. Um, so I do still go down sometimes to watch him. He's still playing on the like PSA Black Professional Tour as well. We are looking at most likely moving overseas next year for that. And yeah, I think that's pretty much all I have to update you on, like bigger life things. The main one was just, yeah, that I'm not playing squash at the moment. So yes, I'm back posting, but it won't really be squash content for the next little while because yeah, I don't know when I'm going to go back. I don't want to force myself into it, I guess. I'd always struggled with like the mental side of squash and it being an individual sport I played team sports like my whole childhood and then going to an individual sport at 17 I always found it pretty tough and was really hard on myself <laughs> why am I tearing up I didn't think I was gonna tear up yeah always found it pretty hard and was pretty hard on myself so if I am going back to squash I kind of have to reevaluate what that will look like and work on my mindset a little bit more be kind of to myself and be kind of to everyone else not that i'd say i was like rude people on the court but i was rude to myself um and i could be rude to dave between games if i was annoyed at myself so yeah it's hard being a competitive person sometimes <laughs> i find it hard to play sport and enjoy sport if i'm not winning which sounds really bad but it's just the honest truth um I'm very competitive and I want to win and I like to win but obviously because I started squash so much later I was at a different level to people I was playing ideally I would go back to squash just like playing casually but I just don't know if I could do that I find it hard to play sport casually even I were playing touch football last year which was a bit more social it was a nice balance though it was social but at the same time we still tried if that makes sense I don't enjoy social sport if people aren't really trying sure I'll come back sometime I, like I said I do miss like actually playing and like hitting the ball I just feel like now especially because I've been out for so long it's kind of hard to come back if I do go down to the courts people do ask like when are you coming back or like have you been playing and yeah I don't know just a lot of questions and I think I just don't like that just because I don't know the answers it's not that I mind that people are asking that kind of questions but I don't know the answers but yeah I did really miss making YouTube videos and squash isn't the only thing in my life so you will still get vlogs a little bit of wedding content as we get um closer to our wedding like I said um only about six months to go now and yeah, fitness content as well. Yeah. I feel like I said that was about it about five minutes ago and I've just kept talking because I'm very good at that. If you are watching this video, thank you. Thank you for supporting me, especially if you've made it this far and through all this rambling. I'm going to continue on with my day now. Um, Dave and I are going to go grocery shopping and yeah, just clean up the house a little bit. Hi Jaffa. <laughs> Hello again. I actually didn't film anything else this day. It's actually a couple weeks later and I've just finished editing the video. Yes, good news I finished editing the video. But yeah, I just thought I would pop in to officially end off this video because I never picked up the camera again like 
after I finished filming like the last update kind of thing. We pretty much just went grocery shopping, had dinner, watched a bit of TV, went to bed. Nothing too exciting. Just forgot to pick up the camera again. So yeah, if you have watched all the way through, thank you so much. I'm excited to be back. I will be posting more regularly again now. I am not going to promise anything. Like I don't know if that'll look like once a week or what it'll look like, but... I am back and thank you so much for watching my video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Bye.